All right, this is uh, Professor Renato here from Sampa Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and uh, you can find me on uh, sampabjj.com or you can find me on sampabrazilianjiu.com. You can find me on other websites that I have to uh, Sampa videos that I post some videos in there. Uh, but I'm not talking here to talk about me, I'm just talking on my websites or any one of my products. I'm here to talk about uh, something that's a problem that we have here in the Jiu Jitsu schools, um, in my school, everyone's schools, and what I try to do to control uh, is the, um, the problem of a uh, ringworm. Okay, so once you have a student that has a ringworm, you know. For sure, you have to tell him to not come to class anymore. He might be a little upset, but that's what we need to do, you know, just to go and take care. But before that actually happens, you need to educate your students, and especially the beginners, because they don't know any better. They barely know what ringworm is. You know, uh, like some doctors don't even know what the, the cauliflower is. Uh, are. So, you know, matter, you know, uh, not alone, just a, a beginner uh, doesn't know, of course. So we need to educate them, and if you don't do this, you're making a, 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 a you're lacking uh, on your teaching, and you're lacking uh, on um, on making your school better, right? So this is for the school owners, but it's also for for whoever is a beginner. You can learn from these two. Okay, so uh, a little disclaimer here is just, of course, if you have a ring warm, it's better to try to look for a doctor, a uh, physician, okay, and uh, especially if it's, a, it's, a, the, it's not the early stage, you know, I would really recommend you to find a doctor going to give you pills and not just the, 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 the cream to put on top of the, you know, on the topic cream and put on the skin, they're not just going to recommend that. So, but what I'm going to say here is stuff that I do in my school okay and what i do for myself when i feel like i have a ring warm i haven't been having a ring warm in a while uh, well i'm not training much as i used to uh, that's one and two i actually got even more um, cautious with this and that's why i'm not getting the, this this ring warm okay so a ring warm is something that you have to really really be careful in, a, in a hot places in summertime in humid places okay and uh, but it's everywhere okay so what I do when I start well, for myself I start feeling my my skin itching you know and usually it's like uh, it's here on the beard you know sometimes it's on the you know the hair that's kind of where it starts so uh, when I feel the skin uh, itching first thing to do I go and uh, bleach it out. I grab bleach, regular bleach. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm saying that I do, okay? I bleach it out. And maybe some doctors even say that's wrong, okay? But I, that that's works for me. So, and I like it. I feel confident doing that, especially at early stages, okay? So I bleach it out. I feel like burning a little bit. And I put lamb seal on top of it. Lamb seal, lamb seal is a, a, a cream, okay? Antifungal cream and... Uh, that's it. And sometimes I even spray uh, athlete's feet, uh, you know, the spray that you buy for athlete's feet, you spray is another antifungal uh, with, uh, you know, the different uh, substance on it, different than lamb seal, that might help you on that too. And that fix right away, I don't feel that itchy anymore. But if you're a beginner, you don't know, it's itching and, it, you know, it all kept itching and uh, and next thing you know, you see that spot and that spot doesn't go away and keep going, keep going, keep going. And then that grows quick and like in two to three days when you realize it's kind of big. And now it's also spreading out to other places on your, on your body, in your skin. And now you're also giving out to other people. And even sometimes your wife because that stays on your sheets, that stays on your towel, so on your clothes. So that's, you know... Once you get into not the early stage, then it gets gets worse. So uh, prevention, okay. What do we I do here in my school for prevention and myself, man. Uh, what I like to tell you is like I like to use it's one gi for each training, okay. So if uh, if I train today, that gi is gone. It's supposed to be washed, okay. I can't just uh, you know wait and then train it again. That's that's no good. Something that I learned when I learned when I was in Japan. 
You know, the gi is like any clothing, any regular clothing. You, you use it, you wash, okay? And if you flip it, no good. So if you used to flip your clothes, that I tell you, it's no good, right? That happens a lot for younger younger guys. But if it's, that's happening and you as an instructor, if you feel like the guy smells, pull the guy on the side and talk to the guy with a little... Uh, um, be polite, you know, be you know, nice to the guy in a nice way and tell the guy, hey man, you know, people are complaining that you're stinking and you just, you know, change your gi, change your uh, your rash guard and, you know, I put people on the side all the time and, and I hope they don't feel embarrassed or, or feel bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's the better, it's for the better. I don't feel bad doing this because it's for the better. So, um... The gi got to be clean. The rash guard got to be clean. Sometimes, and something that I recommend too is when the rash guard starts smelling, man, just throw it out. Don't, you know, I know you're going to have to spend some more bucks to buy a new one, but just throw it out. Toss it, toss it on, on, a, on a trash because the, when it starts smelling, I believe, I might be wrong with that one, but I believe it's bacteria on that. And then those bacteria don't go away. And then they, can, they can't spread out to other clothes. Uh, to your gi and then your gi starts smelling so just give it out even even when you wash your gi and then the gi still comes out of that smell you know it's time to get a new one so uh, that will prevent that something that will be preventing too and of course you know allowing people step on with the shoes on the mat to this day I still see people doing this which is kind of you know but they don't know any better you know parents sometimes they step you know they don't know but you just please don't step on the shoe don't put your shoes on the mat because put their face in there and again talk in a nice way okay because they don't know any better you know this for two, over 20 years but beginners don't know right uh, try to clean your mats every day twice a day mop it uh, broom it uh, every day is a must okay and if you don't do it or if you train in a school that you think it, they don't do it try to help them out and I'm telling you to change the school if you like the school don't need to change um, you have a good relationship with your instructor or if you are the instructor it's got to be cleaned every day and broom got to broom it every day sweep the floors uh sweep the mats and get someone to do it get up get you always have someone who try to bargain for the for the price right for the membership and they someone who complain the blame that they, they can't pay get them to do this you know they gotta help somehow uh don't need to do it yourself but it's got to be done every day because that's for the safety of your school uh, and, the, and the students, right? So, and they will appreciate that. They will appreciate that for sure. So, you know, got to broom the, the mats and uh, mop the mats every day. And what's, what, what I use, I use this stuff here. It's from this company here. I don't know if you can see. It's Kennedy, okay? So, Kennedy, I use Kennedy mat cleaner just google that kennedy industries math cleaner and you're gonna find that uh i can put a, a link on the bottom here on, the, on this video um i use that it's not it's not cheap but you know what it's it's worth and uh and i sometimes i mix with a bleach on that and that wor works perfect okay um that's that's one and in every three months I got a guy that he comes I need to know that his company uh, I can put below too the the link of the company uh, he comes and he sprays some antibacterial and anti-germs uh, uh, you know uh, product okay they, they use in hospitals and everything that and he even give me a certificate saying that my place is a uh, hundred percent germs and uh, bacteria free uh which is cool you know it's cool you can post on the wall there but uh uh it's not hundred percent come on you know so always you know, after cleaning next day it will be but you know it's prevention that you're doing and then they say it lasts every three months so the thing is and then and he comes and he sprays the handle of the of the bathrooms, uh, uh, he sprays the 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 the, the, the carpet. He sprays everything. Um, so how does he do? He comes with a you know like a cotton swab, and he 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 you know scratches on the floor on the mat. Okay, he scratches on the mat, and he put in a machine, and then that machine tells how many bacteria or germs and fungus whatever it is in that little spot. 
so uh, and then they calculate and then uh, uh, they say oh that's pretty bad that's pretty good and it's always good to have him to do this right after some training okay and he also can tell what spa uh, people uh, I'm sorry people what spot they have more bacteria and usually it's part of the people hang out more not necessarily the people where people train but sometimes they just you know I have a like, close to the wall where you know the, the, the kids sit in there uh, and that's a lot of a lot of germs right so of course they bring from school they do this you know this stuff in there um, and uh, so it's got to be cleaned it's got to be cleaned so I have 150 students and I can't uh, afford to have uh, any one of my child getting problems with skin problems uh, like a ringworm we're talking about ringworm now we're not talking about staph infection we can you know staph infection is a bacteria problem and uh, uh, we can make another video about you know the staph infection but so um, and of course after the, the you, you cleaning your 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 facility mopping uh, asking your students to change their geese all the time um, you can also ask them to use a shirt underneath okay even though for, for example Jiu Jitsu tournaments are not supposed to but before the tournaments uh, you know they can train with the shirt underneath that will prevent and that's I'm very glad that I said about tournaments that tournaments most of the times they come back with with a, a, a ringworm. So tell them after the tournament, yeah, you kind of want to celebrate yet, but go straight to your house and and take a shower, you know. And if you don't have showers, we have. I'm gonna recommend here some products, and you know, I'm recommending products. I'm not making any money of this. You just go there and get it, and I think it's a nice thing to do, uh, you know, because to me, I truly believe the more people do jujitsu, will be better for everyone. Okay, better for me better for better for you better for whoever trains you as instructor you as a beginner so it's uh, not here to try to get some money out of you so um, what else um, so you have to do let me think here I don't have any script here guys it's just you know I have to think so let me show a little bit a uh, couple of the of, of uh, the products that they have here. You can go to this website here. Let me see. Is it supply.com? That that's a paper that I got from a, a magazine here. That's a, their uh, telephone number. Okay, and then we have. Let's check it. This is um. Oh, okay, so the guy after the tournament, he, he couldn't take a shower. Okay, this is a good product to use before and after. Okay, His skin cream. Okay, KS. It's like a foam where you spray on yourself. It's like maybe you're taking a shower and uh, you know you, you clean it up a little bit because in the tournaments people step when they're setting up their mats. You think they're setting up in the mats with the bare feet? No, they're stepping the shoes, you know. Uh, and then so many people go through those mats throughout the day, and pff, next thing you know, uh, you know you're having you're having problems. Okay, so. Uh, every time your student comes from a tournament, make sure he know he knows about the uh, prevention of, of uh, um, ringworm prevention. Okay, staph infection too. So another product here is this uh, this one that I recommend people to buy to use is Defense Soap. Okay, uh, Defense Soap is a very good one to to use, um, and they have some other uh, sport hair body. Okay, they have so many others. You can always, guys, Google and find it. Okay, uh, this one probably is is for the is for the mats here. Okay, and oh, and that's a good one too. If you don't want to buy the foam, the spray one, you can buy this one there athletic body body wipes okay this one that's cool to to have athletic body wipes and this okay and for example I have these I have girls you know they think a girl would be nice to have uh, to get a ring warm they don't they don't want so and you as an instructor uh, is, is, is not succeeding of doing all this that I'm telling you to avoid okay so it's very important okay 
it, and it should be some sort of an etiquette on your school, you know, build up that culture to tell them, hey, come on, uh, bring a, a nicer gi, uh, wash your gi. You know, beginners, they don't know any better. They don't know they're supposed to wash uh, every day. Okay, you got to tell them. Uh, and, and if the, the guy is a purple belt now and he still doesn't wash your gi, it's still your fault because you didn't tell them uh, in the beginner, at the beginning, okay? So, yes, that's it, guys. I think I covered pretty much all. I can made a couple attempts of trying to record this before and then, uh, uh, just straight on YouTube and then uh, there was always saying that there was a problem. I th I have a feeling that I, that I said a lot about uh, I said a lot about a lot of stuff, but if I forget something, I'm gonna put it below here. Okay, you can see the, the the transcription of this video, let's say, or just a couple of, of the things that we we cover. Okay, and um, uh, links. Okay, but again, you can always Google it and and find the stuff. And I hope that helps. And once, once more, if you have any problem, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, if you have uh, any problem, just always uh, try to contact me. If you have uh, any tip that, that you can uh, make me uh, better for the next video saying, any tip, any tip, like maybe even the, the, the recording. I'm not a techie guy, but if you say something about... Uh, Oh, you know, that's what I do for for a ringworm that can uh, add to my stuff will, will be great. So any comment below will be great and uh, share the video, please do everything and find us okay on our websites and so maybe subscribe here. I'm just starting. I don't know what to ask you to do. You know, like just starting this. So uh, I really want people you know to see my stuff. If you want to keep watching uh, some of my videos, you might subscribe to. Um, uh, some of my newsletter and I'm gonna put the, the link also for my new newsletter below and uh, okay we go from there next uh, wait for the next video guys okay thank you